Cornelius. Listen, bud. There we go. That one's super, super cool. Got, like, That's crazy, <laughs> bro. Oh, yeah. Oh. Two of them. So you walk straight through here, and, and they're going to make their own little holes through all these rocks. So we would go in. Look at these. Look at those two. <laughs> there is hundreds. What do we wear today? The axolotl PC? No. Nope. Saltwater reef PC? No. Nah. This one is epic. This is one of the new ones, the predatory fish march. Peacock, gar, red tail, Oscar. The newest of new. This is the logo that's on the 5,500 gallon. The 5,500 gallon merch. I'm gonna have to probably put that one to the side. The fish flag. I love that shirt. Build your passion turtle stack. One of my favorites right here. PC brand established 2016. This is the fishing long sleeve SPF. Of course, we got boots. Another basic tee with work hard, stay strong on the back. This one's a nice one as well. I have never shown this one either. This is the funniest. I got Lulu cooking up some bacon on the grill. I'm repping the merch of the 5500 gallon the newest release. If you guys have not checked out the merch yet, top link in the description, pokefellbrand.com. Get yourself some of the merch. I don't ever promote it, literally, but we have a lot of cool stuff on the website. Take a look, pokefellbrand.com. Again, the link is in the description. Now, without further ado, enjoy the video, Kaferos. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. I think it's only right we start this banger off with uh, a nice pellet feeding in the 5,500 gallon. The water is crystal clear. Take a look. You can literally see all the way back to the other side where the peacock and thump are. Thump likes to sit all the way in the back. All right, you guys ready? Pop this open. We'll do a hand feeding of floating pellets first. There we go. Now, a hand feeding of sinking. And as you can see, all the fish just going to town. Now on over to the see-through cichlid pond. This pond literally is called the see-through cichlid pond because it's quite literally see-through from the front. You can see everything inside of it. Now, I wanna make this right here, this exact space, a massive quarantine pond for the big old 5,500 gallon and our big old 4,000 whatever the heck gallon it is saltwater pond that's not done yet, but it will be soon. I need a quarantine pond for both of those ponds so that when I get things from the wild, we can put them in the quarantine and make sure nothing happens. Cure them up and then they can go into these big ponds. So the plan would be to make that right here, half and half, about 400 gallons salt, 400 gallons fresh, and that's where the fish can go until they're healed up. But one thing is we have this beautiful see-through pond. Now, I have a friend that wants the see-through pond. His name is Gio. He's actually the same person that gave us Leo, our chameleon. I mean, the chameleon was a lot smaller when we got him. He's grown since. He's a beautiful big male now. But uh, yeah, Gio wants the pond. So we got someone to take the pond. Go back in your home, Leo. Cornelius, listen, bud. Everyone thinks that you need your own enclosure. Um, I told them that they're wrong uh, and, and that this is awesome for you because at night you go disco dancing in the fish building. He agrees. The top comment of my last video though was Cornelius needs his own enclosure. I think Cornelius likes this because he's got the water to swim in, fish to eat if he did want to eat fish, even though we, we know he loves mice. But I feel like at night this guy comes out and he just, you know, completely dances and runs around and has fun. And then before dad gets back in the morning, he hops back into his spot. Just a theory. I don't know if it's true, but I have a gut feeling that it's true. So he's not gonna have his own enclosure. This is his enclosure. <laughs> I could probably take about 13 to 15 fish over to the new tank. So we're left with a good amount of fish. For the rest of them, I have just the spot and they'll be well taken care of, I can promise you that. So we'll actually do that at the end of this video as well. For now, we gotta net out the ones that we wanna keep, which are gonna be the craziest colored ones. And those are the ones we're gonna bring to the car shop aquarium. Oh, that's heavy. Wow, that's real heavy. My goodness. You know what the most unfortunate news of all this is? Yesterday, before this transfer, I walk in and the tailless tilapia was dead. No. Dude, I grew his <laughs> since he was this big. Out of nowhere. He's just, just sitting. Sit. Just, no, no, I have no idea. Everything else is fine. And tilapias yeah. are very hardy, right? Yeah, dude. Tailless, my tailless, dude. That was the homie. Oh. You just never know with fish, man. It just happens like that. One day they're good, the next day they're upside down. Anyone that denies that, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> Blowing, but it wasn't long enough, so we had to put a PVC. Get it out the door. 
Many, many cichlids are visible and now that all the rock, all the plants, and all the water, most of the water, is out of the pond. Which ones do we want? Definitely you, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful frontosa. He's gotten so much bigger. It's crazy. That one's super, super cool. They got like that little arrow nose. Whoa. This yellow one's toast. Toast. All right. No way! <laughs> How? Got him. I got that yellow one that I wanted. This one is so pretty, look at that. Wow. I think I remember catching that one at Blake's yeah. house. Yeah. See if I can get this orange one. That one's pretty cool, huh? There's one. Nice orange one. Listen, we might be here for like an hour and a half. Golly! Ball of shark. Yeah. Oh yeah. That ball of shark got huge. Take a look at how big that ball of shark is. It's crazy. These are both very pretty blue ones. I believe that blue is probably a little nicer than this blue. We're very limited to the amount that we can fit in this tank, so we want to be very specific. Beautiful one. Nice. Check out that. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Is that blue on them? That is stunning. There's that one. Like a pied color. Another one that's like pie. That's yeah, like electric oh, blue. Oh, my gosh, dude. Same with that little blue one. That's the same little blue one. Got him. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was pretty cool too. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Dude. That one I caught with my left net. Wow. It's so crazy how pretty they are. Nice. Got him. Wow. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Some of these fish just look so epic. Oh, yeah. Oh. Two of them. Orange and yellow. Both those go in. How many you at now? That is 15 fish. Around 15. I didn't know if I got exact. I counted 15 too. So maybe, did you? Maybe yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Have to get that guy. Look at that. Woo! Now all the fish that are in here, don't take it like uh, you're not cool enough to make it. Okay? You're probably just as cool as the other ones I'm taking, but unfortunately, it's not enough room. The tank that all these are going in, it's gonna look amazing with all the fish that we're about to put in. For this pond right here, we're gonna come back, I'll turn the pump back on, that way they have aerators, just a little less water, and then we'll come back and do what we gotta do with the rest of these fish. I have a really, really cool spot for them, trust me. If you're wondering where the heck I got those uh, parrot fish from, those are from my mom's friend. <sighs> we got a bucket full of cichlids. Now it is officially time to get these guys over to the car shop tank. I've been waiting for this forever. You guys will actually be able to go and see this aquarium. If you're getting your car wrapped, tinted, whatever it may be, if you're unfamiliar, let me show you what I'm talking about. We've made it over to the car shop. The aquarium looks amazing. Now I only have two lights plugged in and a lot of wires up top because I need to get the exact extension cords that'll actually work for this. But for the most part, there's going to be one light, two light, three lights, and everything's gonna be lit up. It'll be very, very beautiful in here with these colorful, Cichlids. Before I get into putting the fish in the tank, I gotta show you guys the updates. Uh, it's a mess. Hector was here yesterday and uh, we built a couch. Nice little couch. We're still building like chairs and stuff for the customers to come in when they're waiting for their tents to get done to hang out and sit here, but this is Jupiter Custom Wraps, uh, a company I went 50-50 in with a friend of mine and uh, Got a lot going on. Nice cars in here right now. Look at this. Chris, what's this uh, super getting? Uh, I got a wrap. It's about to get the whole entire hood PPF. So what this business does is PPF, paint protection film, uh, window tinting. So as you can see, this is a brand new 2023 Raptor right here. This is gonna get a full uh, vehicle wrap, but it's already got its tints done. This thing is so nice. Look at the inside. Beautiful. All oh, like that. So this guy's getting his whole truck wrap to so walk straight through here and... <laughs> <laughs> Window tint. Nice. So a lot of stuff going down in the back. That's what the car shop tank is. Whenever I say that, that this, that's where this is. It's time to put the fish in. I've been waiting a long time for this. A very long time. We're just gonna start off. I think it's only right to start off with the Frontosa. Which is such a pretty fish. Look at that thing. There's actually a smaller Frontosa right there. See it? See in the back right there? Geo surprised me with that one. And there he is. He looks like a stud in this tank, I'll tell you that. Woo! Three cichlids. Oh. Look at that blue. Holy cow. 
Oh! There's a red peacock cichlid. We got a couple more going in. So dope. Those two are the same color. Look at those colors on top of his fin. See you, buddy. And they're gonna make their own little holes through all these rocks. So we would go in and out of all these rocks. We also still have the JCW uh, rock logo coming. Tommy's actually gluing a J, a C, and then a W in rock all together. That'll go right in the middle of the tank, which provide more structure. Oh, and now that the tank's like established, we're gonna do big, big live plants in the back too. Forgot to tell you that. Oh yeah, look at that. Electric blue. A beautiful pied. Griffin got me this one, that's M unit. Little hump head. There's that little crazy looking one. <laughs> Look at these. Look at those two. I think these are the two brightest ones we have, literally. Bright yellow, bright orange. That crazy like polka dot one too. That's like probably one of my favorites to be honest. That one's crazy looking. Look at the spots. Look at the spots on the tail. See that? Here we go. Those are two more. Wow. Wow. Look at them all. That is dope. They're finding out the new scape, the new rock. That is it. Looking at the aquarium now, you're like, dang, we could have brought all of them. <laughs> like literally yeah. all of them could have fit in here. But uh, just to be safe, especially because all these fish are going to grow, I will probably stick to just this amount in this aquarium, especially because, like I said, the fish will grow. Boom! Back home. And uh, now I got to net all of my fish out to go to their final location. So it's just like one goes here, the rest go here. And this spot is honestly probably cooler than the office tank. I'm not going to lie. You're about to see it here in just a little bit. Come here, fish. In this spot we're about to go to, there is literally thousands of those right there. Like so many. Another cichlid. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a pleco. We're gonna have to put that into one of our other tanks in here. Parrotfish. One of our big old parrots. <laughs> Dude, these are some mondo parrotfish. Oh yeah, three of them. One, two. Got the Kylie Jenner lips. Here's <laughs> that big African cichlid that I was gonna put in the other tank. It's a little large. Best of luck catching these. Holy smokes. One by one. There's another. Oh, dude, that blue one. Very pretty. No way. Dude, that's incredible. You're a great, a great juker outer. Oh, that's the war mouth we put in a while ago. Look. Oh, it is. That's that war mouth. Dude. Such a cool fish. Just maybe throw them in the mata. War mouth is like a. Oh, <laughs> caught that. All right, buddy. Into the mata tank. He's cool in there. Little baby cichlid. Aww. Got him. You only could run so fast. I caught you. I feel like this guy, when he's older, is gonna be super cool. He's literally a pied tilapia. So cool. This is obviously the brand new baby turtle tub. And uh, as you can see, the water is crystal clear. There you go, buddy. That's his home. With all the tetras. Look at this bucket full of beautiful colored fish. I mean, these parrotfish are really cool. It's almost tempting to bring those to the, to the tank. They would look really good. Inside we have this pleco right here. And this pleco does not need to go in the pond that we're bringing it to. So we're gonna put it in the Mata tank and it will thrive in here. Absolutely thrive in here. Get much bigger and then uh, one day we'll put it into the big pond when it gets big enough. This is all the fish going into this pond. It's crazy, this is a nursery pond. And if you look down inside of it, <laughs> there is hundreds and thousands of fish. And the ones that aren't colored, you just can't see, but there's a gajillion of them on the outside. It's just like, there's fish the whole way through. So they have a lot of uh, water to swim in. As you can see, I've never seen a thicker population of uh, cichlids in my life, all different types of cichlids. This, I just thought was the literal perfect place for these fish. And there's a bunch of roots that they can go inside. There's a lot of structure that they have in this lake. And they get fed here. Like, that's why they're all just sitting right here waiting for me to feed. They get fed over here as well. So it's the perfect spot. There you go. Two parrots. Can't even tell the difference, because there's a thousand of them sitting right there. <laughs> you got another one? See ya, bud. Now there we go. Back home you go. 
so pretty. Imagine hitting the water and looking out and there's just like 5,000 of you sitting there. You're like, where the heck am I? Beautiful African cichlids right here. Two, three. Yeah, buddy. Actually a good amount of fish in here. There we go. Two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. There's an orange one. Isn't that crazy? So vibrant. Sweet. And what a beautiful background to end today's video off at. We got all the cichlids moved over into the car shop tank and the ones that didn't got this beautiful, beautiful pond here because we are making a quarantine pond in the location of the see-through pond now. Thank you all so much for watching this video and all the videos lately. If you have not yet, subscribe down below. I might even pull like a June miss. You know how December's vlog miss where I post like every day of the week? I might want to do that for June. If you guys want to see that, smash the like button. Let me know. This video hits like 20,000 likes. I might have to post every single weekday. Don't forget, top link in the description. Got a lot of new stuff. Go check out the website, polkfairbrand.com. And I'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace. This is what we're looking like now. I got these chairs right here. There's the legs. Got to build those. Those are going to go right here. We got the couch made to the TV. Has all the different color wraps that you can get. All the random color wraps, some magazines, little cars. And then of course, the fish tank in the corner that just looks so, so good. Take a look at them. All the fish are just exploring the rocks and all the little holes that they can go into. And I could not be happier with the outcome of this right here. The office of the car shop is done and it looks amazing. Literally years of wanting to do this and it's finally becoming a thing. Thank you all so much for making this stuff even possible. I appreciate you. If you need some window tints, car wraps, PPF, whatever it may be in your local, or you want to drive into Jupiter, Jupiter Custom Wraps got you covered.